Hi everyone, it's Hubert Shorter here with a quick video to tell you something more about Baldur's Gate 3, which of course you know is going to be released this August. Now, what I'm going to tell you about is something that actually appeared in a previous Larian Studios game, Divinity 2, The Original Sin, which is how you can detect items that have been dropped. So we'll switch over to the game and I'll show you exactly how it works. Okay, so here I am in the game. Um, I'm about to come up on a cutscene, a bit of a cutscene really, where at the end of it, we're going to have some items dropped. And it's really just a case of using the Alt button. So let's find out how it works. So let's go here. So this is all the cutscene. I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange thing glows. You can use the special powers that are growing inside of you to persuade this person. Select the illithid option. I hope I said that properly. So I'm going to go with what happened to your friend. Serve the absolute. Now that's a. Oh, hold on. The man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming chair is in your head. I'll hold the stare. It's intertwined. You see his siblings, Andrick and Brenner. New recruits. Yours to shepherd. Protect them. They are a true soul. Oh, there's a problem with the animation there, definitely. They will. They. They. Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. You're... You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother, he was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. Um, I'm going to take a chance and see if they're prepared to explain what the absolute is. What? Are you... Are you testing us? The absolute is our goddess. She's going to rip down the old world order, start a new one. Then we'll be the ones with the power. Well, you will firstly, true soul. You don't need me to explain that. A true soul, like you, has been chosen by the Absolute. You speak with her voice, and when the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. Oh, I like these two. All zeal and no brains. Oh, bit rude. I don't know any druids. I didn't think you would. Now, the question is, do I encourage them to go after the owl bear? Because I actually know where the owl bear is. But let's see where this plays out to. What? It killed one of us. It killed Edwin. It's an enemy of the absolute. You're right. The beast must be destroyed. The cave is just ahead. It was too much for us before, but but if you could help us, Trusso, we may stand a chance. So they're going. And this guy's dead. Same as that goblin, Saza. Hmm. Curious. Sounds like trouble. Okay, this is the thing that I really want to show you. Now, if you hold down the Alt button, anything that's available that's been dropped, either at the end of a battle, will become visible to you. Now, um, Edoin is dead, so obviously, you know, he's got some items on him. Those are items that are on him as a body, but like I said, if any other items are available, you simply hold down the alt button and you'll get the opportunity. Dead, but 
to see them. It's beneath his features. Oh, it's time for the tadpole to emerge. Lovely. As the creature behind your eye. One scorns should do it. But you stop short. How could you think of harming something so beautiful, so pure? Right. I had a feeling I was going to need to roll to be successful with this, so I'm going to roll. Crikey. Now, I failed there, so I might get the chance to roll again. I'm not sure. No use. Your mind is not your own. For reasons you can't explain, you want it to live. It slithers away and vanishes into the undergrowth. Safe. Free. That was unfortunate. Filthy little monster. Now, I didn't really want that to have happen. But it, you can see that I've held down, well, well, you can see the results of me holding down the alt button, and I can see that there's, there's some mugwort over there that I probably want to get my hands on. So I'm just going to go over there and get it, if I can. So I'll just grab that. There we go. There's some rogue's morsel over there. I'll go there and get that as well. So... Like I said, it's a very simple way of identifying items. Sorry, I've got a bit of hay fever. We, we can identify items that are available, but otherwise you wouldn't be able to see. So that's it, really. Um, I'll have some more videos a little bit later on as we get ever closer to the release of Baldur's Gate 3 and I will continue to update you on a regular basis as to some tips and tricks that you can apply. So my name is Hubert A. Shorter and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.